Alright guys, I'm back. So, we kind of got the intro of chapter 2. Um, just to recap, he gets out of prison. Um, he had a 15 year sentence. Got into a scrap. Um, I'm going to assume he got an extra, he got a year based off of the amount of people. Um, they were trash talking Arakawa. And after a year of taking it, once they trash talk Arakawa, that kind of uh, was the last straw. And there was three of them, sent them to the hospital, got put in solitary confinement. And from the looks of it, like I said, he got an extra year per person. So his 15 years since he turned into 18, going from there, when he was released, no one was there waiting for him. Um, up to this point, with obviously he got a bad haircut, um, a punch perm that didn't turn out right. <laughs> uh, never even heard of a punch perm, so you know I can't blame the woman. But, uh, and he ends up running into Arakawa, who completely ignores him, treats him like he doesn't exist. And just to find out that, uh, I don't know if you remember, and I think it was episode two, when the son of Arakawa, his girl, uh, he, she has a secret lover, or I guess that's what you will say, who ends up becoming a uh, governor or whatever they call them in Japan. Um, my apologies, I don't want to sound rude. I just don't know what they call them in Japan. But uh, he starts taking out the clans. He starts taking out the um, Yakuza. Um, and one of the first ones he takes out is the Tojo clan, which obviously is uh, the Arakawa family. Um, runs, is ran by Tojo clan. Turns out, Arakawa sold their clan out. Um, in doing so, the Omi clan poured into what they call, what is their place, Kamarocho. And with Arakawa's close ties to the police force, um, kind of like their informant, he was able to get them to look the other way, which led him to getting a higher position, I believe he's like an officer now, second in command or something like that, um, for the Omi clan, uh, so he kind of ratted out his own crew to better himself, and now we are back in Kamurocho, uh, a bit of a culture shock with the advanced technology, and that's pretty much where we left off, everyone's got, uh, vapes, selfie sticks, stuff like that, so... We'll see what happens from this point on. Maybe uh, I want to do a little bit of exploring. Maybe I'll do it in the next one because I'm curious to see what happens. But um, we'll see what happens. Anyways, here we are. This is Kamurocho. As you can tell. Maybe you can't. To me, I can't tell. But apparently it looks a lot different. I can't really tell. Maybe there's a lot more signs. Oh, yeah, that. That wasn't there before. This one. Oh yeah, I don't got much money. I wonder what happened to Mitsu. If he's part of this anymore. I didn't see him in that like that roster. Oh serious? They just walk up to me, choose me out of the whole crew. Cool. I didn't realize I was gonna pick that up. Right. You gotta call for backup too? Nice. I like how they just picked me out of the crowd for no reason. It might be the hair. Um. Yeah, I didn't see Mitsu part of that roster. Obviously, that detective guy is going to be part of my fighting crew. Um, what's in here? Weapons. I'm here to buy. Let's see. Oh, it's clothing. Wait, can I actually wear it? I guess you can wear it, but you don't look different. Hand grenades. Holy crap. 
Oh, so just a bit of a gun? Rocket launcher? What's going on? Okay, well, anyways. Arigatouzaimashita. Clearly, I'm not meant for that yet. I don't have enough Zen. Yen. In case you didn't know a bit of Yakuza history or J Japanese history. Um, someone shooting? Oh, they must be using that. Um, hand grenades was actually a, a real big problem in Japan. When Yakuza. Oh, this one's kind of strong. Yeah. Come on now. Check this out. I got this. Cool. That must be a jackhammer sound, but it sounds like a gun. Anyway. This might be their office. Cleared out. This is it, isn't it? Yep, that's their old office. Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that... A Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A family? Not a family, family, I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. That's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who doesn't. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. Ah, <sighs> not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand She's where they're probably headquartered. Dead. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. 18 years, you think everyone's just gonna live? Everyone's gonna look all young, <laughs> barely age, like they're Saiyans. So I guess now we're doing a lot of Easter, Easter egg hunting. Fights. Right, oh, that guy right there. I need to take him out. Come on now. knocked out. Ah. Uh, cool. Telling you, man. What the? 
Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks' home by now. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. You don't just go I ask I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. What a dick. In the usual. Uh, he's a Yakuza. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Look at the pen. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? I think we're gonna have some Jeez. action. And you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying, out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait... Were you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers got stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our Patriarch right now? Dude... You living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate him on sight. You owe me are the ones who Damn, invaded. Straight up this murder in broad Tojo daylight, I guess. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. Get to me. Got that. The battle is on. Alright, cool. guess I'm hit him with the skills right away. Come on now! Check this out! Let's go! Sweet, he's stunned. Yeah. Maybe that'll give me a chance to do another Come one of these. Check this out! Nice. That was simple. That's how you do it! Ugh. Did Arakawa san really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! Haniki? What? what does that mean? Get back here! Oh no, a running scene. Oh. Huh? Oh! Maybe I need to look at what kind of... What, what is Anarchy? I need to look at what Anarchy means. not the drunk one, is she? Oh, she was the one that... You. Huh? Yeah, she was the old lady that was always drunk, wasn't she? Server on clicking this too fast. 
そうねいつもと違うね。ねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねYou got a home office that you could actually decorate. <sighs> Sad to see that she's healthy and not dead. Anyways, let's go find this guy. Sweet. Sweet. I still want to see Mitsu, though. Oh, man. Everyone wants to fight nowadays, huh? Alright, let's do it. Cool. Two level twos. <laughs> Done. Need to hurry up and level up. He runs like he doesn't want to crease the shoes. More? Alright, here we go. All right, I gotta beat cool. the guy in the back.
Hmm. Oh, that is the guy, but his hair, he changed it. Huh? I skipped him snatching it. Just making war with the Omi. Hey. Ah. Uh? Hmm. fight all of a sudden. He's got scissors. Alright. Oh, I got a new one. Fight this guy. That was easy. Alright, well, he wants to fuck me up. We're gonna remember your face, dick! I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? His eye through it. A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist! Oh yeah! These picks are go for a fortune! Thanks, Ichiban! Hey, hold up! Let's make another chase. This guy again. Oh no. What the hell are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamulop! Kamulop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. Oh, what the a hell is bunny. a local mascot? Dude, pick up your camera, it's broken. Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was. You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me. When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. Uh -oh. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. Oh, what? No. When? How? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. 
But that sucks. He was a pretty cool guy. I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. What if that's still hey, a thing? You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. Alright. I think we've seen enough for right now. Luckily, there weren't too many long cutscenes, but uh, I'll pause it here for the next episode. That way, I can start cutting these episodes short. I don't want them to get like long winded. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this was pretty pretty uh interesting episode we learned some new stuff sun diet I was expecting that but not by natural causes or sickness i was expecting like the fact that he was arakawa's son or he had beef with that governor but uh we'll see what happens in the next one we're heading to uh soap land or whatever they call it anyways thanks for sticking around catch you in the next one